Ready? Okay, guys, I give you introduction in the dressing room. Le hagan a clean match, okay? Good luck, God bless you. Le di la introducción en el camerino. Vamos a una pelea limpia, que gane mejor. Dios los bendiga. Liam Smith has the kind of aggressive style that has brought out the best in Canelo in the past. The question is... Harold, how do you have it through six? Yeah, look at Jim. I got it six to nothing. 60 to 54, Canelo Alvarez. You know, Jim, in rounds, I guess three, four, five, six, Liam Smith has landed some nice shots. There's no doubt about it. But the problem is he doesn't land enough. I mean, if you watch the entire round and you say, who did more damage in this round? It's always Canelo Alvarez. You know, who worked harder, who threw more punches, who landed more, who landed the hardest shots. That right uppercut is just a killer. And, and he works the body really well. I'm talking about Alvarez. I mean, those shots to the body are taking an awful lot out of Smith. Six to nothing, Canelo Alvarez. I have to agree with Harold. I think those body shots have taken a lot out of Smith. I think they would take a lot out of anybody. I agree with Harold that Smith has won every, or excuse me, that Canelo has won every round, but Smith has been increasingly competitive in the fight. He just doesn't seem to have quite enough power, firepower to reverse the damage against Canelo, who's been brilliant so far. In the movies, Rocky Balboa takes all the shots and somehow comes Down through. Goes Smith. A big right hand over the top by Canelo Alvarez. First knocked out of his career. And now the blood is beginning to really flow from above that right eye. In real life, the punch. As we go to round eight of a scheduled 12, Canelo Alvarez has won every round. He's knocked Liam Smith down for the first time in Smith's career that he's touched the canvas. He's busted up his right eye. He has landed an unbelievable assortment of hellacious shots, and Smith is still in there. Canelo's also flashed a pretty good defense. Little of, what's, of what Smith threw in the end of the last round landed. And when Smith has landed solid shots upstairs, Canelo's also shown a good chin. And that was a good counter right over the top of the jab by Canelo. Canelo landing more than half his power shots so far in the fight. That's almost always a formula for victory. First time I saw Liam Smith move his head all night to avoid a jab. He had to, Max. Those uppercuts are making you move your head. Those are vicious, vicious punches. So he's even throwing it now because he knows what he's doing to him. A good work with the left hand by Liam Smith. Yes, it is. Canelo actually defending well, but Smith, the smart on offense, landing some shots. Very good left hand he has. of the way they both fight and the significance of the event and the number of punches that are landing on both sides. Oh, good body shot. If this were a closer fight, it would have been a fight of the year candidate. But it isn't a close fight. As Smith goes to the canvas a second time. On a body shot. Been down by a head shot and a body shot. Canelo's it's about Canelo's drawing power. 51,240 is the official attendance in this stadium here tonight. So Canelo Alvarez and Liam Smith draw 51,240, of whom Smith and his people were given the chance to sell 350 tickets in Great Britain. <laughs> Round nine of a scheduled 12. Seen 
seems to be a matter of time. Bloodletting at this point. How much punishment does Liam Smith want to take? Another good body shot just landed, Jim. And how much punishment will his corner let him take? He's already proven his honor. He's proven his courage. He's proven his will. What else does he have to prove? Still fighting back viciously, though, Jim. A terrific fight, Jim, and you're right. If they were more evenly matched in terms of skill and talent, it would be a fight of the year kind of fight. But all the pluck in the world from Smith just isn't enough. Canelo's on a different level. So this is either a amazing showcase for what it is or um, something more than that. I feel like it's crossed over into something more than that, that Smith has given a good enough account of himself to say that this was a really good prize fight. Oh, a good body shot again. Shows you too that with a fighter like Canelo, it doesn't make, make a difference of really who he fights. He still can make it entertaining. Well, particularly with a guy who's not hard to hit and who's going to come at him. Fascinating how their styles mirror each other. Liam Smith is a lowercase Canelo Alvarez. Yes, he is. You put a guy like uh, Kirkland, particularly without Ann Wolf in the corner, Liam Smith, a guy who's going to come at Canelo and be aggressive and show heart, and you'll make a great fight every time. Well, this is why people are oh, so that's anxious. It. There's knockdown number three. That's enough. That's and it. I don't we'll think you can get up there. They'll get up no way. Good, Good ref. Referee Luis Pabon waves his arms. That is a knockout in the ninth round for Canelo <laughs> Alvarez. He fights a man who's never been knocked down and puts him down three times on route to the knockout victory. And damaged him internally, which is why I, I feel like the fight, the contest, the competitive event was over after the last round. And this was the exclamation point, but maybe punishment that Smith didn't need to take.